Hey everybody, Ala P here again from ZTE, uh, bringing you another video, one that I'm actually kind of excited about because this is my first video with the new Axon M uh, phone from ZTE. And I was reading reviews about the Axon M and unboxings and things of that nature, and instead of providing you with just an unboxing or a, a review of the specs or things of that nature, I read through all the comments on some of the videos and a lot of people were saying that this reminds them of a Nintendo DSi, which it does for me too, and wondering if you could do a game type mode on there. And I'm happy to say that I actually did put on an emulator and I have a NES game on here that I'd like to show you. Um, I actually think it's pretty cool. Uh, it takes me back to my arcade days when uh, I used to blow quarters in all the uh, arcade machines. But it's, it's one of my favorite old school games. <clears throat> and uh, without further ado, I'll show you the game type uh, playing that can be done on as an emulator on the Axon M. Um, get my camera set up here to refocus now that I got my camera switched around um, here's the M we'll turn it on in single mode <clears throat> nice quick single fingerprint button but my one of my favorite fingerprint buttons uh, I just like the placement of it but that's not what we're talking about here so let's uh Let's show you what it's what it usually looks like in in a 1D mode here. You now you're going to put it on landscape and the buttons, you know, your diet, your pad and your buttons intermix with the game. Not not very good way to play a video game on a device like this. Uh, you know, if you don't have a controller, Bluetooth controller or something of that like, um, this isn't a very good way to play a game. However, once we get into what this phone can do, we'll turn it into side mode and you'll see that I have the game up top, I have the controls down on bottom. It's not made for this device specifically, however, the John NES Lite uh, version has great controls and features that allow you to move the buttons up down wherever you want you can move the control pad wherever you want you can move the game up and down if you want you can resize it to make it bigger uh, I did have it where it was across two screens for a little while didn't care for it but uh, this is my favorite mode where I have the game up top the pads on the bottom and you can go from there I'll, I'll attempt to play a little bit here uh, uh, where's my volume? Not sure if that's working or not. Um, and just to show you a little bit of the controls and, and that it does a fairly good job, to be honest with you. <clears throat> so let's take a look here. Galaga, one of my favorite classic arcade games. Spent so many quarters on this when I was a kid. So see, not so bad. Actually sounds pretty good too. Ha! Killed already. Okay, well that gives you a good idea of what it does though. Um, I think it's a great, great way if you're a fan of emulators or, or video gaming. And, and um, once the video games start coming out for this device you know, and made for it, it'll be even better. But the emulator works pretty well. Let me just show you the couple of settings I had to go into. It's only a couple. Um, there's the layout settings and this is how I laid my phone out or my my game out see how you can move the the play screen wherever you want you can move the buttons wherever you want 
you know, whatever's comfortable for you. Very, very cool, to be honest with you. I, I can't get over how much this reminded me of my old school arcade days. But um, very simple controls. This will happen to be the first emulator I downloaded. Um, I've used it before. However, it happened to be right at the top of the list. So I just figured I'd give it a try and, and show everybody, you know, what, what it can do as far as uh, the Axon M and a Nintendo emulator. Um, not sure if any other emulators work yet. I haven't tested any of them. Um, this is just what I had quick on hand, uh, uh, my ROM for, for Galaga. So I'm fairly impressed. Um, sound was good. Obviously, the stereo speakers, uh, well, it's stereo speaker, one in front, one on bottom. But uh, it sounds pretty good, and... I, I I actually really like it. So for those were that were asking how it can do game emul how it does on game emulation things of that nature, here is your answer. It does it pretty well. <clears throat> and uh, hopefully you like my video. And I'll talk to you later.